yesterday anywhere you are watching me at this particular moment if it's in the morning blessed morning if it's the evening blessed evening we are back on our program from monday to friday last friday we didn't have our, our last teaching i was having a small problem which i'm gonna share with you thank you for your time thank you for watching you keep on watching us for subscribing for liking please i want to see your comment i want to see the question in the comment i want to see more increase in subscribing like if it's your first time that you are watching the language of the spirit please subscribe like and comment let's share the video friday had a small problem as i call it small problem I had a spiritual visit but it was an unwanted one i had some witchcraft attacking me attacking me and uh, as some witchcraft attacking me claiming that i start now going more deeper in awakening people into what to do in order to protect them i have to stop first they come they try me as the spiritual master and when they could overcome me, they tried to give me an only to say I must stop. And I decided to answer them in public because they, they are listening to what I'm saying. That's why they are attacking. I am not going to stop and I'm going to go much deeper now. I'm going to talk even about things that I was not intending to talk about. I want to see you guys. How far you can come and try me again. Try for the second time. You never go back alive. I'm giving you the chance. If you think you are a witch, you are the one who knows how to bewitch everyone. I'm giving you only any serious one. Bring it on. I'm not afraid. I am a seven level committed pastor. In the eight and eight, you can't play with me. Here is my sign. You know where I belong. You know completely where I belong. Read the sign carefully. You understand my level. Try again, and you see. And I'm continuing to teach our people, and I'm going much deeper. So, beloved, that was a small problem that I was having, but uh, it's not something that you shall worry about. It's not something that shall worry about. It's already under control. So today we are going to talk about. Still, they say, witchcraft slavery, and the element of witchcraft. So I want to be much clear now. I want to dis expose them. What is witchcraft? Witchcraft is a spiritual movement or a spiritual legend, which is the smallest amount others. If you watch my previous video, I've teach about it and the categories of different spiritual levels. <coughs> now, but their main mission is to destroy and kill. They make a vow to sacrifice blood and they can sacrifice even their loved one. Yes, I'm telling you, a witchcraft is not a person you can trust. A witchcraft is a destroyer by initiation. And many of them, they never get initiated by choice. They are victim. The witch legend great people, initiate people to force. And through their initiations, they compel people to sacrifice blood because they feed themselves with blood. They draw their energy by blood. 
So they are not the type of power which we can say, let trust. Now, what are the signs, the elements that you can see? In order for you to discover or spot that there is a witchcraft influence around you, you can see signs of spider webs around your home. This bed, the bed that fly without sea, are holes. There are so many signs. You gonna see red. A lot of deadliness start entering. I'm going to have a time not to explain to you why they send spider web, why they use red, why they use this. We're going to go into those details in our next show. They provoke me, I'm going to disclose them. I wasn't working solo, now I'm going to make it an organization. I'm going to work with a team of people, and those of you who are willing to join me, join me. I want to awaken you because witchcraft, they operate by influencing your mind. Yes. Yes, witchcraft, they work by influencing your mind. Twisting your thought. Confusing you. Today, not all people are victims. We've got different category of witchcraft. You got family alienation. Nobody lies to you. Somewhere, somewhere with all the family, including my own, you find witches somewhere. And I'm not always subscribed to people who say, no, which is that they want to block me, which is you will never stop them from working because that is their mission, that is their work. You got your own mission and work and follow the guidance, do what you need to be done. Which is they are not meant to overcome you, they only overcome you when we are distracted because they are the lowest power into spirituality. They are not the superior. Some of us are not afraid. Me, I'm a chemistic pastor. I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not. They come with the attack. They respect the response. When you are watching, when you are listening to this, understand that these things are not fictions. It doesn't mean if you do not see them you do not know about them, they don't exist. You are sitting and asking yourself what they've gone wrong. I'll give you an example of family alienation. In your family, since you started working, you are supporting everyone to a point that you are depriving even yourself of pleasure because you are the service of everyone. Everything that you are working for is for the relatives to consume. And end of the day, the people in whom you are investing, they are not coming and assist that investment. And when you wanna talk, your mother, your uncle, your auntie, your father, <coughs> start complaining you don't wanna help your siblings. You don't wanna help the family. But you are realizing that all the effort you are making, you in exchange, you are receiving disappointment. You are alienated. Some of you are not even able to support your own children because your family responsibility. It's a common knowledge. All of us, especially Africans, we've got family responsibility to support. It's fine. We do that. But to which extent? You have found yourself a slave of a family without realizing it. You have become a slave to the point where when you are a man, you are getting married, your family, they want to get involved in your marriage. Your mother started dictating what of curtain you're going to put in your house, what is the name of your child, what kind of carpet you're going to put, where will be your bedroom, where you need to locate. When you're a woman, your mother is well or your father, both sides. Wake up. When your family, they get involved. So what time are you going to build your own family with your partner? You, have, you can be a victim of family alienation through witchcraft from your own family. Yes, I'm telling you through witchcraft from your family. Your family. Some of you are even victim of generational alienation 
from the highest up to your generation. You find yourself you are beautiful, you are educated, but you always make the wrong choice of partners. You have money, but you don't have partners. You can't find somebody who balance you. You can't find somebody who made you. And you have changed churches. You have gone places. You are a victim of a generational curse from witchcraft. Maybe among the convention, through the initiation, one of the witch in your family have sacrificed alienate the female of that family not to get married. So you're going to be having children of different men. It happened. Maybe the male of the family not to get married. So it'll be only changing women and stability. Some of them, they violated your fertility. Some of them, your career, especially that happened in adoptive family. You have grown up to a from a relatives in adoptive family. They pay your studies. You have been excellent, but when it's time to perform and work, you are not excelling. You are a spiritual slave. You are a spiritual slave. Spiritual slavery is when a portion of your star has been alienated to benefit somebody else. <coughs> I'm repeating. Spiritual slavery is when the portion of your star has been taken to benefit somebody else than you. I'm not talking about what they tell you about people going and working at the farm and this doing a paper. I'm telling you about what you are living. You're asking yourself, you are making money, but you don't see it. You are asking yourself, where's my band is going? You can't make sense, you're a spiritual slave. That can be done by your own relatives, by your friends, by your partners by your parent. So it's something that it is happening. You are asking yourself, what is blocking you from getting married? You always dream you are married. You always dream you have a family. Maybe by convention, you are spiritual married. To a spirit that you give, that will always come and disturb you without you realizing, and it's wearing different faces. Many people, as you are walking around, you are victim of different cases. You have eaten somebody money. You have made commitment which you didn't own us. And now we need this thing to reach to the hand. There's a solution for everything that I'm talking about. Of course, I can't be disclosing everything, every solution here, because it's going to take us long I'm going to have to be coming and show you this. But each specific case has its own solution. It, during my consultations, I found out and I discovered a lot of things that even me myself I didn't know. But they also revealed through the reading, through the work, the ceremony that we've done. I will tell you a lot of people are failing now because they got the wrong partner, for example. I have discovered that once there's a spiritual compatibility, where there's emotional attachment involved, it's difficult to convince a person that whatever is hammering them is coming from their own partner, their own parent. <coughs> But the truth is, people end up accepting it when they reach the limit. Why? Because witchcraft control their mind. They only allow them to wake up when they are completely destroyed. 
are you willing to reach that stage? Maybe what I'm saying, you've been told in the, throughout the reading by others. Maybe it was revealed to you. But yet you are not taking steps to address that. Yet you are not showing commitment in progressing that. The other part, you gonna some of you in my consultation I've learned, no master, I've done this, I've done that. There is a difference between reading what is written and having a specific ritual for your need. I can publish up a spell which is general but for a certain level of people, which necessarily I won't disclose. But you they have no such a level you want to apply it, it won't work. End of the day, you're gonna say, I've done this, I've done that, it doesn't work. It's not because you know the name of the medication you're gonna go and offer the content the pharmacy and get it. Some of them they say it requires prescriptions. What shows you that your matter they're gonna save it over the counter? Its solution is over the counter. If you take time to listen to those who are in the field, those who are more knowledgeable than you, to share the experience and the knowledge, things will go very bad. We are all witnessing the shedding of blood all over the country. In unexpected circumstances and on innocent victims is the work of darkness. Are you protected against such a situation? What are the steps that have you taken for you and your loved one not to fall victim of the current sacrifice that is taking place? Yeah, some of us, we can see spiritually, we understand that that is sacrifice that are taking place. Are you protected? I, be, I, I hope you got the answer to that question. So there are steps that you can take. The initial steps is to conduct the basic protection. Once you start seeing spider web in your house, you must know that those are controllers. They come to intercept everything that happening in your house. Can you explain this, the presence of spider web inside your bedroom? You see the development of rate in your house. You must understand they are there. When they send spider and rate is to take your money and your finance, your peace. But once you start see the pet or a all, you must know death is entering now. Are you protected? What is your spiritual capacity? What is your spiritual level? If you witness this type of things, you are welcome to come and to share. And because of the threat that I received from them, I have decided as from today, Monday the 18th of July, as you are watching this show, I'm gonna open an organization that's gonna teach people in deep details how to defend themselves against which, how to discover them. I'm going to expose them to that organization and I'm gonna put it everywhere in the African land from today. Those of you who are willing to join the organization, it doesn't matter you are a religious, you are Muslim, you are Christian, this, this is a spiritual organization. Everyone can find themselves in. Even those with witchcraft, they want to be safe, to be free from it. You are welcome to contact me, my number there. Now I'm gonna deal with them. They come to provoke me, I'm responding now, and I'm ready. I finished what I was doing, I come for you. You did come for me.
me I'm coming for you. I'm gonna empower my brothers and sisters with the knowledge. Those children that were made victims with witchcraft and those adults that are tired of it, we gonna make them vomit it. And those who have those matters, contact me, let us talk. There's no problem. My numbers are here, you can see them. And I thank you all for watching our first show for the Monday today. Please comment, ask your question. Based on your question, I'll come and talk more. I have more time to teach and talk, but I need your question. Do not only ask questions in, in private. Also ask questions on there to show others the participation to encourage. And please do not keep the knowledge to yourself. Share with others. I invite others to subscribe. I'm happy I see the numbers are going up. I'm very glad. Let us share, invite more people and reach the target. Be blessed. May peace and divine grace be upon you. <coughs> do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget as well to do all the ritual and prayer for us as well. To keep us more in control, to keep us more protected, and to motivate us to teach you more. Be blessed. See you tomorrow, same time. Thank you very much.